We now cross over to Mr. Chester Missing to talk about the state of the Rainbow Nation. Mr. Missing, what are your thoughts? Yo, Gola, I must say, I am skeptical, very skeptical. I'll stop believing the Rainbow Nation is here the day Woolworth starts selling free-range chicken feet. I'll stop believing the Rainbow Nation is here the day Jacob Zuma appoints an openly gay cabinet minister and no Julius Malema in a purple suit doesn't qualify. <laughs> Hang on, Mr. Missing. Hang on. I'll believe the Rainbow Nation is here when Celsi makes Nimrod and Kasi the CEO in their advert. We're all racists and classists in South Africa, Gola. What? Luiso, have you ever had some well-meaning white old lady say to you, but Loiso, you speak so well. Yeah, 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 it's a bit weird. Why do they do that? Because there are people out there who think all black people should speak like Gwede Mantashe. Why? How does he sound? He sounds like he's auditioning for a steady stumpy advert. And we laugh our heads off at those steady stumpy type black accents. It's no coincidence that most of the people who speak like the Gwede Mantashe steady stumpy guy are poor. Come on, brah, he's the chocolate in the Rainbow Nation. That is racist and classist, guy. If he is chocolate flavor, what is Lindiwe Mazibuko? Coconut flavor. No, man. It's no coincidence. It's no coincidence, eh? That Floyd Shivambu and the white old lady both believe in the same black stereotype. It's just a joke. It's just a joke. No. No. It's about being able to get a job, Gola. You lucky you got this little RDP vibe going here. Uh -uh. There's a huge connection between the stereotype you laugh at and that person's ability to get a job. It really is stop seeing people as homogenous groups. That's why JR pisses me the hell off. Make the stereotype bigger. Make the stereotype bigger. It's like racism with a freaking backing track. But like I said last week, just tell the people they are stereotyping and then they'll listen. Simple. Stop thinking with your freaking eyebrows, Gola. You want me to tell my boss he's a racist, right? I must tell my boss he's a racist. How does that work? Can I get a promotion? And uh, by the way, you're a racist. <laughs> okay, Judge Missing Missing, you are taking this too seriously. Talk crap! Rich people laughing at people who speak with an accent are like abusive husbands who kiss you while they hit you in the face. You're taking a very uh, hard line about this, Mr. Missing. Why do you say that? That's the point of the Rainbow Nation. We can stop being uh, tense about these things. <laughs> Come here, have you heard this guy? Huh? Uh, hey, you guys, have you heard this guy? If that opinion was any shallower, if that opinion was any shallower, baby Jake would use it as a swimming pool. Let's pretend we're friends. With advice like that, you could get a job as a marriage counselor for Kim Kardashian. Mr. Missing, you take it easy. And while we're talking about it, can white people who say ish and talk funny galore please shut the hell up? Mfuwe to lala panzi lapa, okay, Sipo? Why are you talking to me like I'm an ignorant savage? What are you going to do next? Try buy my house using shiny beads. Puh. So you are stay you are saying that the Rainbow Nation needs a bit of work? Finally, you using your eyebrows for something other than as verandas for your forehead. The Rainbow Nation is like my Vodacom cell phone reception. It's not something I have. It's something I hope we will get one day. Okay, Mr. Missing, finally an episode where you make some sense. Thank you very much.